Juan, go ahead. All right, uh, what was the game plan going in? Uh, I don't have a particular game plan. The game plan was simple to stay out of his game and uh, just go fight my game, you know what I mean? All right, uh, was there any point uh, when you had your ankles that you felt you were in trouble, might have to tap? Uh, the last honey hole position he got me in, I had to think twice, like, oh man, this is tight, you know? Like, <laughs> but um, I don't know, man, it's, it's, a, it's a mental thing, you know? I just knew I was going to get out and I, I was going to keep working my way out until I was uh, all the way out. It's either he was going to pop my knee or I was going to get out. And now, uh, was there, um, what, what made it so tough to pass his guard? Uh, he did a really good job of uh, keeping the inside frames with his knees and he did a really good job of grip fighting, you know. Um, and his, his hips were uh, flexible, surprisingly. He's, I was surprised with his grip fighting, he was really strong with his hands and so he just kept, he just kept good frames the whole time, you know, the basic fundamental frames you learn as a blue belt so, and he seems like he's a, he's a black belt at it, so yeah, that was definitely a pain in the ass. <laughs> um, the thoughts on the decision? Uh, it's my fault, you know what I mean, like I, I, don't, I don't fight too good to the decision, I, I fight to, you know, to win or get the submission. Um, so, I mean, even if I won, I wouldn't have been pleased with the, you know, with the, with the win either way. So, it, to me, it doesn't matter, like, which way it went, you know, I, I just believe that I shouldn't have uh, let it go to the judges, and, you know, next time will be different. Uh, at one point when you had his head and arm, uh, did you think you had the two points? Did you think you got by him, or...? I, I, yeah, I did. You know, I, I thought I got to his side, but I, I definitely didn't establish. But I definitely, I was definitely on his side, and and the grip I had was uh, the not the traditional uh, um, Dan, uh, Dan Gable grip. You know, the side control grip. It was more of a seat belt grip, so I was pulling it with the seat belt grip. Uh, I never done that before, so that was my first time trying that out in a match. Um, and he, 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 was, he was again, he was very flexible. He was good at keeping the inside frame, so he was able to work his knees inside, and then he was able to create distance and back to the scrambles. Awesome. Uh, what's next for you? Uh, any uh, other super matches coming up? Anything? Uh, well, next for me, I'm, I'm probably competing next weekend at the IBJJF Pan Ams, uh, which is in the Gi. Uh, but as far as super fights go, I'm pretty much open. I'm, I'm, I'm looking for more super fights. Might do a rematch with this guy again. Might do a rematch with Gary, you know? So, you know, I'm open to a lot of things right now. Stepping on my wires. Right. And you disconnected my TV. Thank you very much, and uh, good luck in the future. Thank Appreciate you so much. It.